today I thought I would do a video where I recommend TV shows based on books that you might like. I watch a fuck ton of TV, so I thought this would be a good idea. I have lots of options in my arsenal. I look like a pirate today. That's okay. So let's just get into it. So if you liked Boyfriend Material or Red, White, and Royal Blue, I recommend Schitt's Creek. If you really like Boyfriend Material and Red, White, and Royal Blue, you probably have an elite sense of humor. Um, that was just a flex. No, but you just probably like something really funny, and Schitt's Creek is one of the funniest, if not the funniest, TV show I've ever watched. It's also my favorite, like, sitcom besides Parks and Rec. It is about a family. They're super wealthy, and then one day their business manager steals all their money, and so the only asset they have left is a town that the dad bought as a joke for his son for his birthday called Schitt's Creek. That's the name of the town. So that's all they have left. So they go and basically have to live in that town. And that's it. And it is the funniest, most heartwarming show. I love it so much. And so if you like the mix of humor, but also really caring about the characters, you'll really like Schitt's Creek. If you liked Far From the Tree by Robin Benway, I recommend The Fosters. Far From the Tree is about three different teens slash young adults who two have been adopted and one of them has not been adopted yet but is living in a foster home and they find each other because they're half they all had the same mother and they connect with each other and they each have very different experiences they're each going through their own personal issues and but they connect and they find each other and it's about family and found family and adoption and it is so heartwarming and I <laughs> I cried. I, I was reading it on a plane and thank God I was sitting next to my family because I was just sobbing into my book on the plane. But I recommend The Fosters. The Fosters deals with very similar themes of adoption. It's called The Fosters. Uh, it's about found family. It's about a girl named Callie who is in the foster care system and she is fostered by two women whose last name is Foster, because okay, with her brother Jude, and they join this family that is one biological child of one of the mothers and two siblings who are also adopted. There's romance and all this other stuff and personal drama, but the heart of it is really the family and the process to becoming a family and what's required, what's not, and I think if you really liked those themes from Far From the Tree, then you'll really like The Fosters. It's on Freeform, by the way. If you liked The Hot Zone, the terrifying true story of the origins of the Ebola virus by Richard Preston, you should watch this compilation of 2020 news coverage. If you liked Dear Martin by Nick Stone, I recommend Good Trouble. Good Trouble is actually a spin-off of The Fosters. It follows two of the main female characters who move to LA and as adults now and like right out of college and they're dealing with work and friends and boyfriends and all that lot, but all that lot. Where am I from? Anyway, it even builds on the progressiveness of The Fosters and even talks more about the nitty-gritty of politics and race relations and basically every issue they can find they try to touch on it. But Dear Martin is a book about a kid named Justice who is writing these letters to Martin Luther King, um, that's why it's called Dear Martin, to sort of just get his thoughts out and deal with these questions he's grappling with since his friend is killed by a white man in a in a car in a drive-by shooting basically and he has all these questions and he's dealing with all of these issues of race. If you've seen or read The Hate You Give, it's very similar in terms of the plot, but it really deals with a lot of issues and very educational. And Good Trouble also dives into a lot of those themes. Hallie, who's the main character, is a law clerk. The friends that they're living with is very involved in activism, and so a lot of the same uh, themes are brought up and discussed and illustrated and so if you really liked how that was deal dealt with in Dear Martin or if you that seems interesting to you or you like the hate you give and you want to learn more then I recommend Good Trouble. It's on Freeform yeah. and it's also on Hulu. Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson is one of my favorite series. It's a YA mystery 
series about a girl named Stevie who is invited to this boarding school in Vermont. It recruits students who have very specific niches or specific talents. Her talent, her passion, it's more passion than talent, sort of they go hand in hand. Her passion is true crime and she wants to go to this school to solve the old mystery from the boarding school which is when original founder, creator of the school, his wife and daughter were kidnapped and the mystery was never solved so she wants to go to the school to try to figure it out. It goes back and forth between 1940s I believe or 1930s of when the original mystery is and present day of her trying to figure out the mystery and it is super entertaining, super compelling. It's three books and each one gets better honestly. Everything comes together in the third book and there's multiple other mysteries. It's not just the original murder kidnapping, it's also other things that are happening in the school. Other things are starting to happen at the school and so it's her trying to figure that out. Anyway, if you liked this or that sounds interesting to you, I recommend Sherlock on BBC. Sherlock is one of my favorite shows. If you like mystery, if you like a really smart protagonist, also kind of socially awkward. If you like um, where there's like sort of this whole, there's like a mystery of the season, but there are little mysteries throughout it. It sort of all comes together. Um, then I think you'll really like Sherlock if you liked that aspect and it's really devious. Or if you like the fact that all these kids have special talents, I recommend Ant Farm on Disney Channel. Or if you like the fall vibes because it's very Vermont in the fall esque, like that's the tone, that's like the mood throughout, that's the aesthetic, then watch Gilmore Girls. That it's on Netflix and you'll get very similar vibes from that. It's about a small town in Connecticut. Okay, if you liked any Christina Lauren book, I recommend The Bold Type on Freeform. Christina Lauren books are filled with amazing female protagonists. Um, I'm holding Josh and Hazel right now because Hazel is my oh, my favorite, but Olive, I'm thinking Olive from The Unhoneymooners. Um, and if you really liked the humor in this and if you like unapologetic, funny female protagonists, you'll really like The Bold Type. The Bold Type is on freeform, so it's very similar in terms of how it deals with like progressive issues like the Fosters and Good Trouble. It's sort of it's not very subtle, it sort of shoves them down your throat, whereas I feel like in uh, in Christina Lauren books it's a little more subtle of how they deal with those things, but um, it's about three women best friends who are working at, it's what's supposed to be like kind of Cosmo, the magazine, they're in different fields in the, um, in the magazine, but in the show the magazine's called Scarlet, and it's just about them dealing with work, dealing with their own stuff, but it's female friendships that are so great and solid and interesting and just really really funny women who are just themselves and so if you liked that aspect in Christina Lauren books I think you'll really like the bold type. Humor is like very natural, it's very modern. It's like how I wish I was able to speak more naturally. Um, the wit is just it's there and that is how it is in Christina Lauren books. So Finally, if you liked Pawnee, the greatest town in America written, compiled, research typed, proofread, and run through spell check by Leslie Noak, De Deputy Director, Department of Parks and Recreation, I recommend Parks and Rec. It is, I think you'll find it very similar. It really delves into the town of Pawnee, and, but if you want to see Pawnee in action, uh, if you just read this out of curiosity, then I recommend Parks and Recreation. Okay, so that's all I have for this one. I'm gonna split it into two parts because Nobody wants to hear me speak for 30 minutes, and I have so many TV shows. Um, I'll probably, I could probably do like seven more parts of this, just because I've, sh as I said, I watch way too much TV. So, but part two, I will do. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.